Konnichiwa minasan, genki desu ka? I'm Dave and today is Ask Nendo Now number one. If you guys remember a couple weeks ago, I asked you guys to ask me a couple of questions for my 2000 subscriber milestone. So again, thank you guys for subscribing and thank you for asking so many questions. I was not expecting that many. So this video is gonna be a long one. So sit back, relax, and let's answer some questions. start with our first question from Mayview, fellow YouTuber Mayview. What is your all-time favorite Nandroid and which one do you dislike the most? I've mentioned this before but my favorite Nandroid is Nandroid Isabel, the spring version because that was my very first Nandroid and you always remember your first. As for the Nandroid I dislike the most, uh, that would be Nandroid Asuna Titania version. I hate this Nandroid because this Nandroid represents every Thing I hate about Sword Art Online. I used to like Sword Art Online until they went into this arc. I hate this Nandroid so much that when it got announced, I almost quit collecting Nandroids right then and there. Like, I don't want to get into it because, like, I'm legit triggered. It's just. It's just so messed up what they did to Asuna and how they... Because Nandroids are supposed to be cute and you see her chained up. It's just, it's not right. I don't like it. It's not. Uh, next question. <laughs> you hear asks, will you ever do a giveaway? This is something I've thought about a lot, but as of right now, I don't have any giveaways planned. Um, never say never. Maybe in the future I will do one for maybe like another larger milestone. Thomas asks, how and where do you find out about upcoming releases? How do you financially support this hobby? So sites that I used to look up were Neko Magic and of course uh, Reddit are anime figures. They would have like release dates and stuff and upcoming announcements like stuff like that. But now I just kind of check Ami Ami. Like every day I look at Ami Ami's front page and if there's anything there that I like I'll just add to cart. Because before when I checked on Neko Magic I was like I want that, 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 and that. <laughs> So I had to calm myself down a bit. In terms of how do I financially support this hobby, I mean it's just like anything else you have to sacrifice. So I pre-order another altar figure that just means I'm not going to eat tomorrow or the next day or the next day. So it's like no legit seriously it's sacrifices like that. So I go out a lot less than I used to. I don't eat out that much. So it's all about prioritizing your money and budgeting. I used to save money too. That doesn't really happen that much anymore. So Katja asks, I hope I'm pronouncing your name right Katja, uh, what is your favorite food and bonus question if you could be reborn as any animal what would it be? Well my favorite food of all time is ice cream. Ice cream is so delicious. I could eat ice cream all day. It's like an orgasm in your mouth. Oh. Mm. Oh yeah, it's so good. Just the way that creamy texture hits your tongue. Oh, mm. Mm. And the animal that I would like to be reborn as is a bear. Because I love bears, they are my favorite animal. And I'd be like the coolest bear because you could come up to me and give me a hug and I'd rip your face open because I'm a bear. What are you doing? <laughs> so Super Chun Young asks, do you listen to K-pop? Um, actually, I love Big Bang. See? Big Bang is awesome. I just, I love them. Especially T.O.P. and G-Dragon. They are the best. I love those guys. Follow up question from Johanna. Which K-pop groups do you like? Big Bang. And do you like BTS? Um... Um, yeah, I think I like BTS. So Amethyst asks, what first got you into figure collecting? Also, what is your favorite part about being a figure collector? So thank you Amethyst and you guys should follow Amethyst because she is brand new to YouTube and she is going to be releasing a whole bunch of awesome figure collecting videos which is so cool and you should also follow her on Instagram too. So to answer your question, what first got me into figure collecting? Well I've always loved collecting things. It was always kind of like fulfilling a compulsion that I've had when I was a kid. 
I used to collect a ton of Sailor Moon cards, and I still have them too. And I kind of grew out of that, but there was always something like missing, like I needed to collect something and like it wasn't until I saw my first Nendroid at an anime convention in 2014 that I really started to collect Nendroids. So I collect anime figures because I love anime and I've kind of gotten a resurgence of how much I love anime over the past couple years. And I collect Nendroids because they are the cutest things around. So my favorite part about being a figure collector is getting to talk to all of you guys. People like you, Amy, and people like Go Figure. I mean, there are so many of you that have gotten a chance to talk to about this awesome hobby, and that is easily my favorite part because I don't think I would have been able to talk to any of you guys otherwise if I'd never started this channel and if I never started collecting figures. So, Chihaya asks, What is your favorite Love Live song? So, my favorite Love Live song is Kito Seshun ga Kikoeru, which is the ending theme song to Love Live Season 1 and I just love that song because it always tears me up when I watch it. It's so beautiful and so cute and I always love watching Rin at the end shaking those maracas because it is adorable. And another fellow YouTuber, Bondra Doll, asks, how do you decide which of your figures to unbox and do you rotate the ones out of their boxes? When I first started doing this channel, I would just look at my collection and be like, um, I guess I'll unbox you today. But now I plan ahead, I write scripts ahead of time. So how I choose which reviews I do now uh, are based on how recently they came out because I want to try to do them more timely, which is so hard. And also whether or not I can come up with an intro. As you guys know, I do like to do funny intros. So if I can't come up with an intro, I'll just find another Nendroid whose intro I can come up with. And in terms of rotating my figures out, I've been meaning to rotate some of these guys out. I'm just so lazy. It's probably not going to happen. I mean, I still have to clean them too. So uh, eventually I'm going to have to. So Lady Luboz asks, if you were sucked into a video game, what would you like your character to look or be? Boy or girl, magical, part animal, have fun. Well, I thought about this question and the type of game I was thinking about was like Skyrim or Dragon Age. And I would be like a witty, smart ass assassin thief. <laughs> and I would probably be an elf because elves are so good looking and handsome. I would want to be an elf. And a character from an anime that I would really, like I think I would be, would be Give from Arslan Senki. So if you're trying to imagine what I would be like, if you know that character, Give, then that's probably who I would be because I'm kind of annoying. <laughs> so from Manix, another fellow YouTuber asks, who is your favorite superhero? That is an easy one and he is Saitama! One Punch Man is my favorite because he is all powerful kind of an idiot and freaking amazing and awesome. I love Saitama. From Pay85, how many Nandroids do you have exactly? Duplicates can be excluded. I do have some duplicates, but as of last count, I had about 167, give or take, plus minus one or two. Actually, no, my last shipment would have put that probably over 170. 170-ish. It's, it's a lot. Mayor Ichiro asks, do you like Animal Crossing? Um, just a little. Eh, it's alright. Mama Luigi asks, what is your favorite Nintendo game? See previous question. <laughs> so that would be Animal Crossing. Um, Pokemon doesn't count because Pokemon is developed and published by the Pokemon Company and Game Freak. So Kami, you have a bunch of questions. Let's start with the first one. What is your favorite fashion styles? I really like formal attire. So if you've seen the anime Bungo Stray Dogs, there are two characters, Dazai and Chuya. And if I could dress like those two every day, I would. I think they are so handsome and I just love their style. They just look so good. That is totally how I would dress all the time. So as for like, like I said, I would love to wear that. But in terms of what I actually wear, I'm pretty simple, like jeans, a t-shirt, and also jackets. I love jackets. I collect jackets. They are my one of my favorite things. I just love to wear layers upon layers. 
even though I live in an area that's pretty warm throughout the year, I don't really care because it's all about style over comfort. Isn't that right? Also, what are a few of your current favorite bands and songs? So right now I'm listening to Lucy Rose, who is an English songwriter. She is amazing. I'm also listening to Hoshino Gen from Japan. He is awesome. And I have been listening to a lot of French music. I had my friend recommend me a bunch of songs. So I have been listening to Cour des Pirates from Quebec and she is so awesome. I love her. And I've also been listening to the rapper singer Strome who is also fucking cool. That guy is awesome and like he's super popular but I've never heard of him until my friend recommended him. So um, I'm gonna leave a playlist of the French songs that I'm listening to right now. So if you guys want to listen to what I'm listening to go ahead and check that out. Seriously guys it is so Good. And the last question Kami asked is how did you learn how to play the guitar? I took guitar in high school but only for a year. After that I stopped and I was pretty much self-taught which is why I think I'm kind of garbage at the guitar. Oh. So Ash, 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 Ash Ruzi? I'm just gonna call you Ash because that's easier. If a tree falls in the post-apocalyptic forest and no one is alive to hear it, does it make a sound? No, of course not because sound is just a perception of the human mind. I just blew your mind right now, didn't I? I have no idea what those words meant. The aloof potato asked Love Live or Idol Master. Come on, do you even know me at all? Of course it is Love Live. Uh, I've never actually seen Idol Master, but I do want to watch Cinderella Girls. That one looks really fun and interesting, and those cast of characters look really cool and awesome. Fellow YouTuber Nendo Kitty Chan asks, What movie, anime or not, can you watch over and over again? That would be, of course, Captain America, Winter Soldier. I mean, come on, Chris Evans. Am I right, ladies? Oh, he's so hot. Ah. Another fellow YouTuber, Celestial Lightning Maid, asks, what are your top three countries, cities that you would like to visit? Of course, that would be Tokyo, because I want to go shopping in all of their fashion districts. So Ginza, Shibuya, uh, Akihabara, all those places. Um, the second place I would like to go is Egypt, because it has always been my dream to see the pyramids and the Sphinx. I would definitely love to see that before I die. And the last place I would like to go is Montreal, because I want to go hang out and chill with Go Figure. Get to hang out with Jess and Mia, how awesome would that be? And awesome cosplayer Celia Rose asks, if you had the opportunity to travel to any place in the world for a vacation, where would you go? So where would I go? I would go back to Japan and I would love to hike up to the top of Mount Fuji. I know I don't look it, but I used to be really outdoorsy and I just love that feeling of like pushing your body to the limit. I um, can't really do that anymore because of reasons, but I, I miss it. So uh, someday, hopefully, I will be able to climb up to Mount Fuji and just experience like that nature, that part of Japan that maybe a lot of people don't think about when they think of Japan because I just, I think it's so beautiful. So one day, Mount Fuji, I will conquer you. So another question from Ash, what is your favorite tree and your favorite flower? Do cherry blossoms count as a tree? If not, that is definitely my favorite flower because I do have it tattooed after all. As for my favorite recipe, I do like to bake, so probably my cheesecake recipe. I haven't made it in a long time, but that's probably the one that people want me to bake the most because people keep asking me, when are you gonna bake cheesecake again? And I'm like, get off my fucking back, I'm fucking lazy, okay? <laughs> Mr. Dimple, that is an awesome name. What is your favorite games of all time? All right, so my favorite games as follows, Pokemon Sun and Moon, I love it. Pokemon is so good. Animal Crossing New Leaf, Valkyria Chronicles, Resident Evil 4, Dragon Age Origins, and Love Live School Idol Festival, as well as Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater, as well as Ni no Kuni, Dynasty Warriors 3, and I think that's about it. I mean, I'm sure I can name a whole bunch more games, but those are my favorite games of all time. IA asks, what is your favorite figure company except Good Smile? That's an easy one. That would be Alter. Alter is the best. I pretty much love them just as much as I love Good Smile Company. Ariel asks, if your house was on fire and you had to evacuate as soon as possible, which Nendroid or figure would you bring and why? I've actually thought about this question a lot because I live in earthquake country. An earthquake is going to happen, we're due for a big one, so I've thought long and hard about which ones I'm going to pick. 
Honestly, in reality, I'm gonna try to save as many as possible, but if I only have time for one, it's gonna be Menma right here because I don't want Menma to die again. <laughs> She's been through enough. So Luna Moon asks, how many siblings do you have? I have a brother and sister from a different dad, and I have another brother from a different mom. Yeah, I know. And I am 11 years older than my brothers. I am nine years older than my sister. Happy Films asks, if you had to pick one anime to watch for the rest of your life, which one would it be? It would have to be a comedy anime. It's just so hard to pick one. So it would be something like Yuri Yuri, Nichi Joe, or maybe like I'll cop out and say Detective Conan because there's like 900 episodes and I'd be good on anime for pretty much ever. So David Cho asks, is it worth it to buy a bootleg Nandroid? No, it is not worth it, David, because the money that is used to buy bootleg Nandroids goes to support the Chinese mafia or, you know, triads or whatever. It's, it is not good to buy bootleg Nandroids because that's who you're supporting. And if you don't believe me, watch this video from Mami Tan and she explains how how the president of Good Smile Company was almost assassinated because of the Chinese bootleggers wanting to get their revenge on them. So like, it's serious business. Do not buy bootlegs, even if it's for, you know, custom Nandroids. It's not worth it to support that side of the industry. It's just not worth it. So Umida asks, that is a great name, are you planning on moving to a new house for a larger storage space for your collection or are you going to sell some of your collection to save space? And if I do start to sell, which am I going to sell first? Um, I've run out of space and I would like to move, in fact I would like to move to a new city if I could but that is just not possible right now. I honestly, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm not planning on moving. So I, I, right now I'm not planning on selling. I may end up giving some figures away to a couple friends. Uh, other than that, I, yeah, I'm kind of at a predicament right now. So Tsugomi asks, can I give a top five anime? Okay, so let's see. Number one, Barakuman. Number two, Anohana. Number three, Natsume. Number four, Mushishi number five, Toradora number six, Kimi ni Todoke. <laughs> and I know I went one over, but there's so much anime that I love. But yeah, that's my top six anime as of right now. Number seven, five centimeters per second. Did I say that already? <laughs> so Lani Sasuke asks, what future Nandroids are you planning to pre-order for next year? There are a bunch of them. I actually have a bunch of pre-orders right now, but stay tuned for a upcoming video in which I talk about my five most anticipated Nandroids for 2017, as I did for 2016. Miss Crafty Person asks, do you order every Nandroid that comes out? It definitely feels that way when I first started, but no, I try to limit myself to maybe two or three Nendroids a month, which is still kind of a lot. Another question from Miss Crafty Person, what are you going to do with your Nendroids if you're ever not interested in them anymore? I actually think about this a lot. I am really scared of just one day waking up and all of a sudden I'm not into anime anymore or I'm not into figure collecting. Sometimes that keeps me up at night so hopefully I won't have to deal with that. Uh, maybe I'll die before any of that actually happens so let's hope. Animu asks, are there any Nandroids you regret buying or not buying? Um, there are some Nandroids that I regret buying like from anime that um, I didn't watch. As for a recent Nandroid purchase that I regret not buying, that would be Alba Suzukaze from New Game. Um, seeing all the pictures on like Instagram, she is so cute. I didn't buy her because I thought she was really plain, but I'm really starting to regret it. So Magnolia Meow asks, cats or dogs? When I was a kid, I loved cats, even though I didn't have a cat. I always wanted one, but as an adult, um, I'd have to say I'm more of a dog person now because I have two dogs and I love them very much. So Magnolia Meow again asks, what's your favorite romance anime? That would be Kimi ni Todoke. Um, I love Sawako. She is such a beautiful character. I really relate to her in terms of like how I was in high school. Like if you ever pictured me in high school, I was kind of like her. But uh, yeah, that's my favorite romance because even Sawako was able to find the person that she loved. Uh, Solar asks, who is your favorite Sundere character? Hold up. That would be Taiga from Toradora. It's not like I wanted you to be my favorite Sundere character. Hmm. <laughs> Del Kuo asks, would you get a life-size statue of Nico if one ever came out? Dude, 
Come on, of course I would. So this next question from Pokered Arts is asking where is a good place to buy price figures online? Honestly, I'm actually not too sure. So if you guys can help Pokered Arts out, leave a comment down below of where are good places to buy some price figures. Um, as you guys know, I do like price figures, but I don't collect them because my collection is focused more on scale figures now and Nendoroids. So if you guys have any advice for Pokered Arts, I mean, the only places I can think of is like maybe Ami Ami's pre-owned section or Mandarake, uh, my figure collection. I'm sure sellers are selling price figures there. So those are probably good places to start. Melon Soda asks, what is the favorite Nendroid that you currently own? That would probably be Galco Chan right there. Um, she was an Nendroid I originally wasn't planning on getting because I did drop that anime, but her Nendroid is so beautiful and I love her hair. It is so like big and luscious and it looks so cool. Fluffy O'Bannon asks, what is your favorite character in Haikyuu and who is your least favorite? Um, as you guys may know, my favorite character is Hinata because he is the cutest and I love underdog characters. You know, he's the character, he's the shortest one on the team and he has to kind of work the hardest to prove himself, but he's extremely talented and I just, oh, he's so cute. Um, as for my least favorite character, you guys know I hate Suki, he's the worst. But after season three, he started to grow on me and yeah, I guess Suki's pretty cool to oh, whatever so Quinn Adams asks yes hello I have a question will you marry me well Quinn it depends are you super rich because I never want to work again <laughs> so if you're super rich my answer will say yes but before you say, oh, come on, you don't want to marry some sort of gold digger. Well, one, I am really good at cooking. I am really good at cleaning. And I'm really good at going down, if you know what I mean. Uh, so who wouldn't want to marry me? I'm like the perfect trophy husband. As long as you're rich, I'll say yes. <laughs> oh my god, you guys probably think I'm horrible. So another fellow YouTuber, Dark Viruses, asks, do you have or want any lewd figures? Um, as you guys know, I think I showed it in a previous haul video. I have one lewd figure, it is a cast off, but I have yet to open her and she's really big. She's up here in the corner and I'm too lazy to get her. Um, in terms of me wanting more lewd figures, mm, I guess they're really expensive. They, I do have one I'm eyeing, which is like a, a one fourth, which is really big. So I'm, I might end up passing on her. But yeah, my, my aesthetic is cute, so I kind of conflicts. But there's nothing wrong with buying lewd figures, and um, maybe I'll end up buying more, but I need to make room first. So Rin Rin Ring My Doorbell, that's an awesome name. What's your favorite ship from any anime? That would be Yamato and Takeo from Ore Monogatari. They are so cute. I love those two. They are like the beauty and the beast of couples. So Don Hidden asks, if a Nendo version of you was ever created, what do you think it would look like and what accessories would it come with? Well, I don't have to wonder anymore because Lady Lubaz did a drawing of me. It, that is my channel art right now, as you guys can see as a nendoroid and it looks so cute so i don't have to wonder anymore that is what i would look like like for reals legit that looks so good so thank you again lauren for doing my channel art in terms of accessories it would come with a tripod and a camera it would come with like a mini nendoroid figure or nendoroid box and like you could display me reviewing nendoroids and it would also come with ice cream and a 3ds and as you guys know now i love ice cream and i love my video games so malubaka has a bunch of questions so the first one is what is your job i take pictures of cars and it is very very boring so would you rather stop buying figures or stop playing video games um at first i thought i would stop buying figures because i never not want to play another pokemon game again because i have to keep playing pokemon but if i stop buying figures then i feel like i can't be friends with any of you anymore so i probably stop playing video games so that you guys will still be my friends do you ever think someday you'll be able to review all your nendroids no hell no and what would you do if you have no space for your Nendroids anymore? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, that's not, like I've said, that's me right now. And I just have no clue what I'm going to do. And favorite toy collector, favorite photographers. Uh, favorite toy collectors, go figure, of course. And favorite photographers, uh, just look at all the people I follow on Instagram. They are all my favorites. 
Eleanor Sweet asks, what are some languages you'd love to learn or are you currently learning any? Uh, I'm not currently learning any. I've been trying to look up like Japanese classes, so that's one language I would love to learn. I took Japanese in college and I stopped to focus on my major. That was a mistake. And I would love to learn French because I think French is a beautiful language, so gotta get my friends to teach me French. So Rendo Paradise asks, so the question is, which Nendo boy is your favorite Nendo boy? That would easily be Hotaru Maru as of right now. He is the best Nendo boy, and even though I don't really play Token Rambu, this guy is so freaking adorable. I love you Hotaru Maru, you're so cute. So Lewis Brookman asks, what was your first ever anime? I mean, it was probably Dragon Ball or Sailor Moon, but the series that I would consider like is an anime that I didn't realize, I was like, what am I watching? Would be Urusei Yatsura. So before Inuyasha, before Ranma, we have Urusei Yatsura. And this was a weird anime because like as a little kid and I'm watching this cartoon where you have this alien woman who is like in a bikini and she has horns and she's so hot so uh lum you're like my first waifu you are the best so jacob asked which is your favorite snow miku and what do you think about the 2017 version well i have all of the snow mikus out to date and my favorite is probably strawberry snow miku and magical snow girl miku because they are just so beautiful and so cute i mean they're all pretty cute but those two are my favorites as for the 2017 miku this might be the one I pass because I don't really need to collect all the snow mikus. So Yuki asks, what is the first anime that got you addicted and what is your current favorite anime? So probably Sailor Moon. Probably the same reason that I loved Odisei Yatsura. Um, Sailor Moon was just so unique at the time. You had like, you know, girl power and it was so cool. And Sailor Jupiter is the best and I was just addicted. I wanted to see more Sailor Moon. As for the animes that I'm addicted to right now, that would probably be Drifters. If you guys are not watching that anime, it is, it's brutal. That anime is so brutal and so violent, but also really funny. Um, it's kind of like Helsing Ultimate, if you guys have seen that. And also Poco, Poco's Udon World. That anime breaks my heart and I just, I love it so much. I wish Poco was real so I could be his best friend. So Mr. Lazy Crazy Kitten asks, what Nendroid that you own was the most expensive? I've answered this before, but that would be the Strawberry Snow Miku that I paid $120 for. So Diamond Flame 45 asks, how many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? I added this question because I actually have tried to do this when I was younger, and I think I gave up around 120 something. I gave up because my tongue was starting to hurt and it hurt a lot. So I just quit. So it's over 120, that's for sure. Uh, I would not recommend you try to do it because it totally sucks. So the next question from Go Figure themselves. What is the weirdest anime merch you own or what is the weirdest anime merch you would like to own? So this was a tough one. I didn't think I had anything weird until I remembered I had this. Yeah, <laughs> this is not what it looks like. I swear, I'm not a Nazi, I swear. So I bought this while I was in the Philippines. Um, it was in an anime store inside of a mall. And I just, I saw this and I thought it was so freaking weird, but I did know the context beforehand. So the context is this is from the anime Bleach. And if you guys didn't know the part of the sword where Ichigo goes Bankai and like that handle part is actually in the shape of this symbol and if you guys didn't know I think this is a Buddhist symbol meaning strength spirit or something and if you guys also didn't know the word Bankai that first part Ban is written with this symbol so this is actually referring to the anime Bleach and Ichigo I swear I am not a secret Nazi in terms of weird merchandise that I would think would be really cool to own I think it would be really weird if they had like a line of sex toys from Jojo's Bizarre Adventure like a joke like a JoJo's Bizarre Adventure cock ring, because that would be fucking weird. I mean, I'm not saying that I would buy it. Maybe I would, because I do love JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. 
So the next question from Rachel. You had to save Jess or Mia from a burning building and there was only enough time to save one of them, which would it be? What a cruel and mean question. But you know what? I'll have to choose because I would save both. I wasn't gonna mention this, but this is the second burning building question I've been asked. So I have to let you guys know on the secret of how I would save both Jess and Mia from a burning building. I am immune to fire. You guys don't believe me? Check this out. Uh-huh. See? Ah! Fuck! I mean, ha! Nothing. See? That didn't hurt at all. And also, Jess and Mia are like really small, so I could easily carry the both of them and like just hulk my way out of the building. So I don't have to choose because I choose both of them. Now, if you said Jess and Mia were drowning and I only had enough time to save one, um, we'd all die because I don't know how to swim. Ha! And the next question from Lowly X Donut: Do you have a crush on Jessica or Mia of Go Figure? Um, I mean, how can you ask me to choose between Jess and Mia? I love the both of them. They are amazing, and they are—they're just like the coolest people ever. But I do have a crush on. And oh my god, I can't believe I said that. I'm so embarrassed. Next question. So the final question from Anna asks, are you and Jess dating? If not, hashtag I fucking ship it. Um, well, oh, is it getting hot in here? Oh my god. Um, um, oh, would you look at the time? I've got to go. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for subscribing. This has been a very fun and interesting Q&A to say the least. Uh, I really appreciate all of your questions and all of your subscriptions and comments and likes. This has been so fun to do over the past year. It has been so insane and this has been really fun so hopefully I'll get to do Ask Nendo Now number two very soon. But if you guys be asking questions like that, maybe not. Uh, so again, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for subscribing. And I'll see you next time. Johnny. Oh man, these questions are brutal. <laughs>